let's imagine you want to record yourself giving the presentation and then save that recording for other people to watch as an alternative to having to present live. Well, we can do all of that without leaving PowerPoint. You'll see that I'm in the same presentation that we used in the last video, but before we crack on with recording our delivery of these slides, I'm just going to go to the Transitions ribbon tab and add a slide transition to all of these slides. I'm going to add a fade and notice that every slide transition has got a duration, the fade duration being 0.7 of a second long. Now that does become useful to know when we record our slide narrations. But anyway, let's go to the Slideshow ribbon tab because the button that is the main focus of this video is this one here. The record slideshow button and if you click the bottom half of that button you do get a few options one of which is relevant for the video that we've just come from about timings and rehearsing and whatnot because I've got a few timings left over from the previous video and I've got some options here to clear all timings so yes let's do that so that's another way of actually getting rid of all of those timings and you'll also notice that I've got the option to record from the beginning of the slide deck or record from the current slide. And that means you can actually capture your delivery that you're recording for an individual slide at a time, which probably is a low stress way of doing it because you don't have to do it you know, all in one go and have one perfect take. But we'll start off by doing it from the beginning and see what we can do. So let me choose that. And what that'll do, it'll present the slideshow, which is what you're looking at, but also it'll give me a recording console, which is actually opened up on a separate monitor to the one that I'm capturing. So let me just drag that onto the one that uh, I'm capturing so you can can see it and straight away at the bottom right hand corner you can see me so there's a little talking head there of me delivering the slide deck and you can choose to either have your little talking head captured or not so if you don't want to have your talking head in the corner there you can click this middle button to turn the camera off or you could capture but turn off the preview that would mean that it would capture, but you're not going to be distracted by seeing yourself talking <laughs> in the corner there. But anyway, let's leave that on. A few other settings, though, before I start recording, because I haven't actually yet started recording my delivery of this presentation. That'll be the big red button at the top left hand corner when we're ready. But I do have a few settings. For example, here I can just check what microphone that it's using. If I had already recorded a talk track to this particular slide, I could clear it for this slide or for all slides and just start again. I could view my speaker notes if I had any. But I am going to now start recording. So I'll click this big red record button. Oh, but actually before I do that, this feature is really designed for you to capture a slide at a time. So let's imagine that I'm disregarding that advice I've just given to myself and I'm going to talk over the slides. I'm going to talk across that transition, which, as you remember, was a fade transition that lasted 0.7 of a second. I'm going to keep talking across that transition and we'll see what problem that gives us. But anyway, I really am going to click the record button now. I get the countdown so I can smile nicely at the camera. Welcome to this year's Spring Sales Incentive. I'm really excited to give you the details of this year's incentive, which is a trip to New York. And to give you a feel for exactly what it's going to contain, we are this year in... Oh, and I fluffed it, so I'm going to stop just there. <laughs> so I'm going to click stop at the top left hand corner. And if I wanted to start again, then I can just clear all of that and uh, click record again and start again. But let's come out of this recording console and see what it's done. So I'm just going to double click on that first slide. And what you'll see, there's a little video clip there in the bottom right hand corner on both of those first two slides, because that's as far as I had got. Look up at the ribbon. So this is the slideshow ribbon. And I am going to turn back on that use timings button because if I show you in the slideshow view, it has captured new timings for these slides in accordance with that narration that I recorded. And you'll notice that much like the default is that timings will be used if they are there, if narrations are there, they will be played. So if I show you, if I click that and click up on the video playback ribbon tab, you'll see that the default behavior is that the video will start playing automatically. But anyway, let me just increase my volume a bit so that when I play this, you can hear my voice through uh, my microphone. So let's just run the show. Welcome to this year's Spring Sales Incentive. I'm really excited to give you the details of this year's incentive, which is a trip to New York. And to give you a feel for exactly what it's going to contain. Right, so did you see what happened there? As I talked across the slides when I was recording, it lost that almost a second's worth of audio while it was doing the slide transition. So therefore, I strongly suggest you do not talk across the slides. Record the audio for that slide and either then stop recording and um, you know start again on the next slide or just 
stay silent for a second while the slide transitions and then start talking again once the other slide has arrived. But all is not lost. So what can we do? Now, if you look at this, this is actually a little video clip. So look up at the ribbon. I've got the video format and playback tools, which we're used to because PowerPoint's really good at handling video. But I can trim this video. So actually, I think to myself, well, let's just stop the playback at the point where I started to try and talk over the slide. So I think it was probably about there. I don't know. We'll imagine it's about there. So I can just trim that last bit off where I kind of fluffed it and I can move that into a different position. So let's imagine, well, actually, I'll have it there. I think that looks quite nice. Now, I haven't checked that I really have trimmed it to the right place, but you get the idea. But then for this second slide, while I really have messed that up, I'm going to delete that and record that slide again. So if you go to the slideshow ribbon tab, well, this time I can record from the current slide. And again, let me just grab the recording console. And let's imagine I've now decided that really, truly, I only really want the talking head for the first slide, just so that people know what I look like. But then from then on, let's not record the video. Now let's have audio. So let me now record some sort of narration for this particular slide. And this time I'm going to do it very much a slide at a time and see how it goes. So are you ready? I'm going to click the big red record button. I get the countdown again. So this year, you'll see that we're rewarding five highest achievers rather than our usual three, because we really want to recognize outstanding sales efforts. And also note that even for those of you who are maybe new to the team and you don't feel like you're in a running for the big prize, then, you know, keep going. If you exceed your target, you will be entered into a prize draw every single month. So everybody has a chance to win. So I just stopped recording there. If I come out of the recording console, you'll see this time, because I turned off the video, look at the bottom right hand corner, I've got an audio clip rather than obviously a video clip. But I do have a word of advice for you here. When you try and click that video clip, it's very easy to accidentally click this button here, which is the mute button for the video clip. So really try and avoid that. In fact, I'm having trouble trying to there we go. <laughs> so I would suggest that you move that video clip somewhere else on the screen because that does mean then you get this little toolbar without obscuring the clip itself. But if I select that video clip and again, look up at the ribbon, I've got the audio format and playback tools. You will notice that again, that clip is going to play automatically and the actual icon is going to be hidden during the show, which is probably what you want because that does look a bit ugly. But let's see how it looks. Remembering that I might not have trimmed this to finish at just the right point, but you can bear with me. So I run the show. Welcome to this year's Spring Sales Incentive. I'm really excited to give you the details of this year's incentive, which is a trip to New York. So this year, you'll see that we're rewarding five highest achievers rather than our usual three because we've... Re so you get the idea. I did almost trim it in the right place, didn't I, of that video? But you see, there is a slight pause in between slides. So I say that is probably our only limitation when you're using this particular tool. But other than that, it works pretty well. You can, you know, record on a slide by slide basis. If you mess it up, you can get rid of it and record it again. It's a nice way of capturing your narration with or without the talking head. But once you have finished, you've got a couple of options as to how you share this with people. Now, obviously, they can just watch the PowerPoint presentation like this. We know that the clips play automatically when you run the show. Or you could save it as the PPSX file format, that PowerPoint show that we did in the last one, whereby people just double click the file and it leaps into life and just plays it back. Or you could even save it as a video. So if you choose file and choose export, for example, you've got an option there to create a video. You'll see there the default is that it will use the recorded timings and narrations, which is exactly what we want. So that would be great, you know, send somebody an MP4 file. But if this functionality is something that you might use quite a lot, then it's worth turning on the recording toolbar. So if you right click somewhere up here on the ribbon and choose the option to customize the ribbon, switch on the recording tab over on the right hand side here and click OK. And that will give you this extra ribbon tab which includes that same record slideshow button that we were just using. But also it gives you options for working with video and audio. But look, it also gives you the ability to save as the PowerPoint show file format and to export as video. So it doesn't give you any new options. It just brings them all together conveniently onto a recording ribbon tab. So in summary, then, if you do want to capture your talk track, your narration with or without the talking head in the corner of the slide, then yeah, PowerPoint can do it. Give it a go.